Hello fellow gear whores. Today I have our very own GWA designed and made Citadel backpack. This is our everyday carry slash travel bag. Use it for whatever you want to use it for. This has pretty much been a bag eight or so years in the making. We've seen tons of bags over the years and never quite finding just the bright perfect bag so over the years been putting together notes and just a wish list of things i would love to have in one bag and this is pretty much what i've come up with feature packed of course so let's get into the bag we will start with the front we have two zipper compartments here one smaller one on top and the larger one on the bottom naturally of course since we sell patches we got plenty of velcro real estate on the outside on this bottom panel we have a stretch fabric like so i wanted the bag to be compact and slim but still be large somehow so utilizing stretch fabrics allows the bag pocket to expand without needing a really big gusset or pleat on the top pocket we have three slash pockets inside so one large pocket there and then three smaller ones here extra organization business cards flashlight multi-tool eating tool usb cables charging cables etc will all fit in there and larger items like your wallet gps anything else can go on the outside the bottom panel with the stretch fabric similar design three slash pockets a nice large expansion here this pocket traditionally i carry a spare battery which fits you here perfectly i have a small flag that i carry that goes in there as well this pocket also ideal for a light jacket or in my case i carry a compact duffel bag that expands out and that'll fit in here nicely as well so you can see this material stretches out pretty far and it's super durable very expensive material too which i might add using ykk zips reverse type here i don't really like having the rain flies on zippers because it always gets caught you're always kind of jamming and trying to pull the zipper out so this is an easy zip on this side which would be depending on how you're looking at it, the right side or the left side but if you're wearing the backpack this is going to be your left side again i'm utilizing the stretch fabric on the side and this accommodates most water bottles and it expands pretty large easy pull tab there you can pull the pocket open on the opposite side i have a two by three molly pals webbing there if you want to have a small pouch you want to put on there i put a little bit of molly pals on there i didn't want to overdo the bag with molly and pals and end up being a giant thing of, of pouches the idea is to keep the bag slim and also notice here on the side i have two of these side handles now i've been using the first generation of this bag a few years ago and i absolutely loved having the side handles so if you're wearing the bag and you're going to pull off your shoulder if you got a heavy bag especially if i'm carrying my camera equipment the bag immediately wants to fall to the ground so i remove one shoulder i grab one shoulder and then i immediately reach over and grab my side handle so i have a good grip on it and i pull off the bag Alternatively, you can also use it as a briefcase carry if you want to walk around the airport and you get that on both sides. We also got a padded clean handle on top. Try to make it as integrated and slim and clean looking as possible. So that's right there. On the sides, I also have two cinch straps. Now, I purposely put them in the middle like this. The bag is not big enough to justify having two compression straps so I put one on each side so you can compress the bag it gets pretty flat 
Now if I undo that, the other feature I have with the compression strap is that when you actually have the bag open, the compression straps actually act as a stopper for the zipper. So if you only want to get into half of the bag, you have some kit on top, you don't need to open the bag completely and that'll keep it from opening completely open like that. On the ends of all the straps on the shoulders and the compression strap, I have some elastic keepers. So if you don't want this stuff flopping around, you can just fold it up and use the elastic like so. And that's built in, so you don't need to buy any extra accessories. It's going to be built into the pack. On the back, built it with some mesh. And it's, everything is padded, of course, here on the lower back support and on the upper back. And these almost like vents, I would say, keep the airflow, keeps the bag a little bit off your body so it's not collecting a pool of sweat here. So you got three pads. Pretty, you can see it's pretty thick padding as well. I do have a pass through here for a belt that we will offer in the future. Shoulder pads are pretty slim. Nice ergonomic curve to it, it's really comfortable. And on the back, also again, utilize that stretch fabric and this feels really good on your shoulders. So instead of having the traditional fabrics like a cordura or pack cloth or on your shoulder, it's kind of rigid. It doesn't flex, so it's always kind of moving around. It's, it's not really itchy, but it's kind of like, it just pulls on your shoulder and your, your shirt or your skin. The stretch fabric moves around so it's almost adapting to your shoulders which feels really really nice and I absolutely love having this on the shoulders. Adjustable sternum slider of course pretty standard stuff there. Two D rings I know people like to carry their water bottles here it's a nice quick way to clap to clamp on your carabiner or keys or anything else accessories to your your shoulders. You also have additional webbing here for any other accessory. Adjustable length, again with the elastic keeper. Everything that is load bearing on here is reinforced and bar tacked, including the straps here and the webbing. Everything is reinforced on there and on the shoulders. There are reinforced webbing here and bar tacks internally to keep the bag from falling apart. Bag is 100% US made, materials, labor, everything. Mill spec construction, everything from the materials to the thread is all beyond mill spec. So, the inside of the bag, let's go ahead and get in there. So, I will actually open my two compression straps. And you see it's a clamshell design which I like from packing a lot of stuff into my bag for traveling. And my camera equipment is pretty big, so I have a pretty large insert. So I need to get into the bag and it has to open all the way. And again, if you don't want that, you can zip it halfway open and with the side compression straps, it'll act as a half zip pack. On the back of the pack, loop lined for your tearaway pouches. It's pretty popular in the industry now. I've been using tearaway pouches for years. So I use various vinyl clear go pouches with my USB cables and whatever knickknacks I keep in there. I keep everything organized. I like to have my bag to the point where if I open it up, nothing falls out. So everything has a place. So on the back, plenty of loop real estate for all your Velcro tearaway pouch accessories. On the lid, I have two zipper compartments here. Top one is a flat pocket. Bottom one does have a gusset, so it does expand a bit, like so. Usually I keep a beanie and gloves in here. That's why I have the expansion on the bottom. It also acts as a pad for my expensive camera equipment that I keep on the bottom here as well. Lighter weight yet strong pack cloth liner on the inside of the bag. You can see the walls of the bag. I have cordura on the outside and the pack cloth in the inside to give a little more rigidity on the bag. I'd be too loose. 
and on the bottom of the bag, since I do carry my camera equipment, the bottom of the bag is also padded pretty thick too. I do also carry a laptop and documents which I don't want mixed in with those items. So for that I have actually an even smaller compartment here in the back, like so. So the back compartment and this is padded, so everything is padded and reinforced. On the back here I did a, a nicer kind of more luxury red. I think it stands out pretty nice and it looks pretty cool. And I want to kind of mix it up from just using everything coyote and green and whatnot. So I did I did use a red cloth on there to make it look a little more refined. So we have a padded sleeve here. This is for your laptop. And it'll fit most large laptops on there. I would say at 15 inch or so. I don't think people are really carrying 17 inch laptops anywhere. So I think most people now even have smaller 13 inch or even 11 inch laptops. So this will carry it just fine, no problem. And this pocket, you have the laptop sleeve here and additional compartment here. This is for your documents, your books, your additional tablet if you have one, notebook, binders, any paper documents I would carry in here separate from my laptop. So again, if I open up my pack, I want to be able to get to my kit where I need it and I don't want to mix around or fumble looking for the stuff I'm looking for. So that's the bag in a nutshell. It's carry-on compliant and then some. It's actually just a little bit smaller than carry-on compliant. I typically travel and I use this bag and I actually put it underneath my seat since I don't want to, I don't want to stow away my expensive stuff overhead. So it's, the, it's just the perfect size pack. So let me go ahead and pull my personal bag out and show you how I carry some of my accessories. Alright guys, so here is my personal Citadel pack in Ranger Green. On the side here, I have my Yeti Rambler bottle. Fits multiple size bottles here, but I like to carry. It's a good size bottle to carry. And when I use the bag, I can actually pull it out and reinsert it no problem so that goes right there I always keep a spare carabiner and got my cold markers and a pen on the side as well on the front here I have my power bank fits perfectly in the interior pocket there and if I run my USB cable I can actually have it plugged in and route it and run it all the way down to my front if I need to access my phone while charging it. In this pocket I have a SOG multi-tool so it fits in the pocket perfectly. So again you can see I have these two items in there and I still got plenty of space with the stretch fabric. On the top zip compartment got a Surefire flashlight, multi-tool for your on-the-go snacks, SOG tourniquet, Bluetooth headphones, USB cable, some chapstick, some business cards, and I still got plenty more space there as well. But the important thing is everything is organized. Some bags out there will have a pocket up top, but there won't be any interior organization, so all this stuff is gonna be just all jumbled and and floating around in there, which I, I can't stand. On the main compartment, I'll go ahead and open the whole thing up. So on the bottom here, got a Vertex waterproof jacket and a couple of tearaway pouches here. These pouches I carry headlamp, some ear pro, extra batteries, anything, any small loose items I like to put in these pouches so I can take them out quickly. And again, if I open up the backpack, Obviously, this is going to fall out, but if I open the backpack, nothing's going to fall out. All the little accessories are going to stay in there, so I won't lose anything, which is important. So, jacket in there. Second pouch, I got a USB drive cleaning cloth for lenses and other small little tidbits in there. Front flap, got my laptop charger in here. 
bottom I have a beanie and a pair of gloves and in the rear laptop in there got some documents back here and a doodling notebook so that all goes in the documents area in there and still got room for additional items as well this has been the G3 way Citadel backpack around seven eight years in the making design wise this is my perfect design bag and it's it's perfect it's perfect for what I use when I travel when I go out it has everything that I need in a bag and I'm sure some of you out there as well will also appreciate the design features 100% made in USA American materials American labor manufactured here in the USA by a military contractor so the quality is good stitching is top-notch everything is reinforced beyond mill spec this is a high-end bag be sure to check it out nextgenwarfighter.com we'll probably be offering multiple colors here's the ranger green most likely multicam maybe in a black as well and coyote brown who knows Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, a question, and we'll do our best to get back to you.